Hello there everyone. Welcome into Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you're doing well in this time. <clears throat> These are general tarot card messages for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So because they're general messages, all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly so breathe in here with me so that we can get some accurate messages out for you cancer okay so i'm getting the energy of being at war like fighting but not so you are the commander or the queen and you've sent out the army, your army to fight. But you're also the high priestess. So you know you've already won. It's that kind of vibration. You know those um, Japanese movies with the clans and the... um. What, 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 what is the Japanese movies in a certain era? And you know they're dealing witchcraft and magic and the queens with the long fingernails. And she can she uh, she's already forecast that she's won this war. That's the energy I'm getting with this high priestess. That could be you. Something that you're dealing with. Or it's coming up in your future. Cancer. Maybe the law or something you speaking up it may have something to do with children or defending what is yours, your rights, your freedom, your history, your territory, your grounds, your beliefs, your stability, your boundaries, Pro protecting your youth, your freedom of expression, really representing here as a warrior in defense. So you're not, I don't feel like you're attacking, but you're defending what is up, what wants to attack or threaten your territory. So you're defending. And you have the right tools to defend. You have the, the wisdom and the clarity and the higher consciousness, the deeper consciousness, the higher awareness. It's like I say, now I feel like going back to watch one of those old Chinese or Japanese movies where, like the dynasties, you know, in the age of Chinese dynasty, where the queens, I'm going to find one of those movies, the queen's rule, or in this case, queen or king, but she's also the high, a priestess, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I do feel dark energy in her. As you can see, she's both light and dark hair. B, J, maybe that means something to you. Light and dark, masculine, feminine. But I feel like in this fight, she could be using her dark energies. You know, I'm hearing crows. I'm seeing birds flying around. You know? So maybe um, for you in this battle, you're, have to, you're, you're going to... You have to... You're going to have to be really strong and defined <clears throat> and calculative and militant and go to succeed, to win, to be the victor. All right. I foresee you overcoming. The truth is going to be revealed. And I feel like this is in your, this is way in your future. For some people, it's happening now, you know, but. Or for some parts of you or, you know, in some cases. To feel the moon card above the high priestess. It's a bit alarming at first. As if there's something the high priestess is not aware of. She doesn't know. And a, a secret attack or something. With the knight of swords. Oh, 
Or maybe the high priestess has this moon energy that is her secret weapon. No, we're talking about you, right? You also have the sword on your side. Which is beautiful. Oh. Alright, so a lot of swords energy surrounds you. I feel like the Knight of Swords is what is provoking this wrath. The Knight of Swords is the attack on that is around you. And the Moon card is the veil and the illusion that is above you. And let us see. <laughs> And the hangman. I think you could learn to relax a little bit more. You're working on building something. It's having to do with your home, your business your stability, your identity. It is connected to material things, your wealth. It is ego sort of based where you want to have things. There, oh, there is spirit here. There is emotion, but there's not, not a lot. And this could be work. This could have something to do with Capricorn vibration. Steel toad. I think this energy is one that is suspicious of their own intuition. They base things mainly in what is seen in reality, in what has materialized. What does that mean for you? There's something about a home and a, or a house, a building. Encourage labor. Some of you are working away from home. some new desire a new um, approach advance attraction um, someone has their legs open and then they have this thing Coming through the Ace of Wands, having to do with work, maybe you have your own platform, you have your own business, maybe you're starting your own business now, maybe it's a bit burdensome, but you're putting in the work. 
it may feel hard like you are you're doing the hard work but you're not trusting in the spirit of the work you know what i mean it's 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 it it, it lacks the fulfillment in spirit So watch how your energy feels about what it is that you're doing now. If your energy feels hard or, or if you feel good. If you feel hopeful or if you feel stubbornness and fear toward your business or whatever you're working on creating. Feel good. Mm -hmm. appreciate your creation <clears throat> feel good in what you do I feel like you have built this because it makes you feel good but maybe you forgot that so maybe try remember feeling good earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You work alone or you feel more comfortable working alone. It's like you have your own chair, your own empire. You've worked hard to build this. Now here you are, proud. It may be a business that you've had a long time ago or it's just showing me that the maturity moving from the Ten of Wands all the way to the Emperor. You keep working, making it happen. And then what? A new beginning, new idea. You inherit something. Hmm. Cherish. What is that? Feeling a friend, a visit, a hotel. <clears throat> Cherish. Maybe a vacation. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com. It has something to do with an establishment, something you have established. You've made it over to this place. You will be given some long run at the end of the day. After all the effort, it's handed to you. It could be land or money. Or your spiritual gifts but it's, it's good feelings actually it feels like winning like receiving your certificate you know pride mm -hmm. like graduating school and getting that certificate hey it could be school or business or home or just a beautiful vision a gift that you've been presented with in the present a present but i do feel there are good feelings surrounding it for you feelings of prosperity The Seven of Pentacles, it says, sure prosperity, hopeful, welcome in well-being, 
hopeful expectation, a place of magic. So you're going to get what you want because you work for it. I think you're going to have a dream, a vision of something. You're going to foresee. Fudge. I think you're going to have a premonition of this Queen of Swords. And you're going to know what the outcome is with the moon card and the hangman. Psychic abilities in the unknown, into the seeing into the unknown, into the darkness. I did say you're going to be fighting in the dark, something like that, in the future. But you're going to have a, per a permanent of this. You're, this is in the dream. You see it flash. And, and, and then you see it coming. It's going to be like deja vu. Honestly. With all of these powerful cards. I feel like you're going to stand there like, whoa. And then... You will know what to do with the ace with the ace of swords. I feel like you're going to start remembering your dreams more powerfully, like living in them vividly. Like, whoa, kind of vibration. And then I hear, watch this. Watch this. As if something is about to be proven to you now. As if I'm not even right here. Literally, I could be here with this person who said to me watch this and they're about to show me this <laughs> what so five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles we just moved look five and that's the two of us and this is both of us again in the ten of pentacles What am I talking about? This person just said, watch this. It's about to show us that what? Uh, you're going to know the answer. The Ace of Swords, the higher consciousness, deeper insight, the wisdom. You're going to say something. It's going to come out of your mouth as if it is a story that you've lived before. And you won't even believe you're saying it. Listen, this, maybe this has to do with your rights. Your legal rights. Laws and stuff. You know, know your rights. Maybe you're going to be asked a question. Look. Maybe this question is going to be about magic and... Traveling, time travel, disappearance. I don't know. But you will know the truth because you would have witnessed it. Even in a vision or in a dream. You saw it. You know what I mean? Yes, I preached it.
So you come ready with the sword. No, you are ready. You are, you've come as it is now. Like this is it. Okay. You can see like she has the kind of the sword or the cross on her chest. <clears throat> so let's see what is the sword. The king of swords. Okay, I want you to take this seriously. Oh my God. As, it, as if you're about to learn some, a lesson. School. And there's something about birds. And the wind. You know, Cancer, that is what I have for you in this one. I'm leaving these messages right here. I hope you enjoy them or found some messages that inspires you on your journey. If you did, hit the like button, share the messages with those you love, and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. All of your support is appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember that you're all, all is within you. You can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire. Much love.